Many people want to know what's next for the area of South Sicker Street, where the buildings were recently demolished. This is the area where three Baltimore firefighters lost their lives a couple of weeks ago. WMER 2 News is Dave Detling, live outside the Department of Housing with an update on the demolition. So Dave, what happens next? Hey there, Jamie. Well, we know that demolition started earlier in the week. That's good news for the neighborhood. Many neighbors say they are looking forward to the changes ahead. This just looks horrible. It's an eyesore and a sad reminder of what happened three weeks ago in the 200 block of South Stricker Street, where three firefighters lost their lives. While three buildings on the block have been demolished, there's more work to be done. Even if they made like just nice land and put some grass over it and it looked nice, that would be so much better than what we have right now because this just looks horrible. It makes the whole street look bad. But before sod can be thrown down, the area still needs to be cleared of debris. The Department of Housing says crews are still working to backfill the area. Crews will also need to complete a weather wall at 209 South Stricker Street. The building became exposed during demolition. I see maybe a recreation center or a really nice playground for the kids maybe. Neighbors in the Mount Clair area say they see potential with the open lots. However, they're still privately owned properties. What will ultimately happen with the sites, whether they go to tax sale for liens unpaid or they get donated remains to be determined. The work that we're doing now is really intended to create an environment where those where vacants can move much more quickly, that there aren't barriers to working with our government, that the systems that we use to for residents or those who want to be residents to engage our government to purchase a property to uh, to uh, decommission a property to raise a property that that we make that process smooth. And again, demolition started earlier this week. Those lots remain on the city's radar. Now, as for the demolition prices and the cost of doing that, that will be tacked on to the private property owners. Of course, this is all part of the city's plan to get that area revitalized. Reporting live tonight, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.